Good morning. Mm. Oh, baby me. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Today is a Sunday and I thought I might walk you through a little day in my life as a full-time uni student here in Texas and how I balance that with a job. So I usually wake up around 6 on the weekends and get started right away with some type of stretch and meditation. Um, I love lots of heart opening stretches here. This usually takes me around 20 or 30 minutes and just gets my day started in the best way. This is my favorite painting of Frida Kahlo. My ultimate inspiration. <laughs> mm, I feel like my room is my little cocoon in the morning. I love it. <laughs> go out into the rest of the apartment and turn some lights on and do all the usual money things like brush my teeth, wash my face, and all of that. I try to be quiet because Maya is still usually sleeping at this point. start with some water in the morning and then just do some tidying up around the kitchen and put away dishes from last night and I always find that makes the morning go a lot smoother. Then I have my favorite tea, Earl Grey. I have this every single morning uh, and in case you can't tell I've switched to my phone here because my camera battery died and I think there must have been some smudge on the lens so for now just pretend you have a sleepy in your eye or something. Then I sit down and get cozy and start on some readings for the day. I'm a humanities girl, so there's usually a lot of readings and analysis to do for my homework. This morning, the story was called The Lost Beautifulness by Anzia Yazierska for my English literature class. And it was about this very poor working mother living in the Lower East Side of New York just after World War I. And she paints her kitchen and her apartment white to try and bring some beauty into her space, only to have the landlord raise the price of the apartment because it's worth more now. And she goes from this dream of American democracy and ends up needing to live on the streets and questioning what her son was ever fighting in the war for. So a good, strong, sad story to start off the day, but I this is why I love studying the humanities. I don't know. It just makes me think about the world so much. Next, I move into my room for a change of scenery and start working on flashcards for my philosophy class. I tend to be very expressive and talk out loud to myself, like a presentation, and I usually find that helps me retain the information a little bit better. I just know my learning style. <laughs> hot in the afternoon but fall is upon us next it's breakfast time around 9 a.m. since I don't have classes today I have oatmeal for breakfast almost every morning it's my favorite thing and it's super easy I usually put in fruit and nuts and whatever we have in the fridge.
and then it's back to the couch and I'll get out another reading. I do love to read while I'm eating. It helps me read for longer and it feels less onerous when I'm not engaged with what I'm reading all the time. My sister is up at this point and I hop on a FaceTime with her and my mom while I was getting ready for the gym and we talked for a while. I love the cold weather. I agree. You should have sausages and mashed potatoes and onions and pumpkin pie. All of that delicious hearty food. All right, I will see you in about 30 minutes. Okay. Love you. I love you too. There's nobody in the gym right now. Ah, I always want to like run around and do crazy things when no one's in here. Um, I used to feel like I... I'm a ghost. I used to feel like I didn't have time to work out in school. Last year, I just remember like, I didn't take any time to do anything other than like schoolwork and go to work. And I just felt so drained and like I hated school. I, well, I didn't hate school, but I just felt really like I wasn't taking care of myself at all. And so this year I am trying to take more time for my own version of self-care, which is literally like folding my laundry instead of leaving it in a pile until, you know, it's dirty again. Or like making a nice meal and eating it, you know, without doing anything else or maybe just reading or, or going to the gym and, and just lifting weights for like 20 minutes and then I feel like I have more energy to do the the rest of the things that I need to do for the day. Yeah, and it really, a game changer for me was not killing myself in workouts. Um, I haven't worked out for like ever. When I first came to Austin, it's been like a year and a half now, but I've only just started working out um, in like the last month or so. And I've just been doing it as an act of taking care of myself and then instead of pushing myself to such exhaustion that the rest of my day feels like a burden which was completely unhealthy so i'm like really finding this relationship where exercise can be a wonderful addition to my life but it doesn't have to be an obsession anymore so yay <laughs> going to go outside now <laughs> No one's here. Oh my god, I'm crazy. I think what I'm gonna do now is fold some laundry, do some more schoolwork. I have a slideshow I have to go through and take notes on, um, and then get ready for work later on. My sister and I are working together tonight, which is literally the best. So that's my Sunday plans. I also have to read a chapter for my philosophy class. We're reading Saul Bellows right now. Um, kind of an existentialist novel, but I love reading for class. I love how my homework is reading. A lot of the stuff I would read anyways. Back from the gym, I did some online work for school and I got a little lonely in my room, so I went out to sit with Maya and got some tea. And I absolutely love living with my sister and we're both in school this year, which is great. It doesn't feel so isolating when I have a lot of work to do. Shoot, have you done Mobile Run yet? No, I'm not even at 1800. We've just finished the American Revolution. This is great. We didn't even go over this and go, oh, okay. Then I folded some laundry, which actually takes an incredible amount of motivation for me. And then I went outside to get some reading done. And this is a little novella that I have to write an essay on called Seize the Day by Saul Bellows. And it's really about this middle-aged man who's down on his luck and searching for some kind of deeper meaning in his life, searching for real connection 
kind of a common theme. Uh, and I haven't finished it yet, but I really hope it's a happy ending and not one of those melancholy endings that takes me a while to recover from. I'm making a vlog, by the way. Aren't we going? Hi. Aren't we going? Let's go. Let's go. You have the keys? I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Flashcards. And he led Max on the English, on the British. Hi, Boo. We worked the closing shift tonight, and it's super fun getting to work with my sister, and it almost feels like a bit of a break from homework. Um, which is really nice. So it's just a simple job. Don't have to stress or worry about anything. I think I will finish off the video here. We were both pretty tired when we got home from work and didn't do much of anything. So I hope you have a wonderful week, a great weekend, and I will see you soon. What are you making? I'm putting lime juice and beef bone broth. Oh, that looks kind of weird. Really good. <laughs>